Today I'm going to be reviewing the Pray and Plan Planner, and this is by Teach for the Heart. And this just popped up, I think it was a Facebook ad maybe that I saw this, and I got really excited because I was like, oh wow, it's a teacher planner, which I love being a special education teacher myself, and it's also a Christian planner. So I was really excited to see this, and it looked really well made. So I picked up this mini planner. They have a couple different options. I'll link their website in the description so you can check that out. Uh, but this is the mini planner. So this is like a hand size planner. This is about the size. It's a little bit smaller than my iPad, but about the size of that. So just a little bit of a reference there. I like the coil um, spiral bound. Um, the cover is laminated, like the design. It's nice, but it's not too much at the same time. Love it. It says pray and plan. I always love, um, I teach in a public school. I'm elementary special education. And, but I still like to incorporate my faith in pieces of my daily life at school too. So this is a great way for me to do it, having this planner. So I was excited about that. You can see the back. There is a Bible verse here. We have Galatians 6, 9. Whoops. And then getting into it here, it starts out, I didn't write anything in it yet because I wanted to show you what it looked like clean, but it has a uh, space for your name, email, your school, and your room number, and important information. Paper's pretty thick and heavy, like you could use uh, many different pens, markers, gel pens, etc. in here, uh, and you should be fine with bleed through. You could always test it out, of course, in the back of the planner somewhere, but I, I believe it would hold up to pretty much any pen. We have how to use the Pray and Plan Planner. So it talks about monthly reflections, um, tame your to-do list, a monthly calendar, memory verses, blank pages, and there's also a monthly free resource, which you'll see a QR code on each of the blank pages. You can scan that code during that month to access a free resource from Teach for the Heart. So that's really cool there. Um, for the weekly, you're gonna see there's daily space, um, let's write your to-do list for each day. There's a weekly to-do list. There's prayer prompts. Um, plan your work time, which gives you a chart to, um, to provide a spot to plan when you will or will not work each week. Um, enter the time you plan to arrive at school in the first row and the time you plan to leave in the second. You can use the last row to plan blocks of at-home work time. So just a great way to plan um, exactly what you're going to do each day. Um, some extra resources included. We're going to have a year at a glance. We're going to get a student checklist or grade book, a communication log, and then some custom pages as well, some blank pages that you can customize them any way you choose. All right, so this is going to start in July of 2024, and it's going to go through June of 2025. So it's an academic plan or academic school year that it goes through. Here's a space for a schedule, which is a special education teacher. It's helpful for me. I'm a learning support classroom, so my students come and go throughout the day. You know, a student might come in for 30 minutes of math support, and then they leave for lunch, and they come back later for some reading support. So they're in and out. So it's helpful to have that schedule to fill in there. I probably would change the days of the week to cycle day because my school runs by cycle day, but you could easily do that. Put a little sticker over that you know, write that in there. We have a year at a glance, which gives you subject and months. You could color in these nice little designs in the border or not. Either way, it would look really nice. They also have some coloring sheets in here. I love that with some Bible verses. If you just, you know, need a minute at home to relax as, you, and you, as you're working in your planner, that's a great little addition there. This is a monthly reflection here. So you're going to see, this is looking back for June. What are you most thankful for? What didn't go well? And what will you do differently next time? What did you spend too little or too much time on? And then there's a looking ahead for July. Um, what's most important to you this month? What's one thing you need to stop doing or let go of? Um, who should you pray for or connect with this month? And then there's a to-do list for that month. And then this is how to use the 4T system. So it just gives a little code there if you'd like to do that for trash, trim, transfer, and treasure. And you can also look up their website here and it gives you more information and resources as well. Okay, here's what a monthly calendar looks like. You have a place up here to write a memory verse for the month. There's also a gratitude section over here. So I just love that it incorporates these little pieces of our faith in there as we're going through our daily lives. 
A quote from Charles Stanley. This is a QR code for that month's resource that you can scan. And then this is what the weekly spread looks like. So really nice. You could write your to-do list in here each day. Also has holidays listed. Again, you could color these if you'd like or add some colors. Stickers would fit well. There's a space for notes, a to-do list for the week, a prayer, and then the plan your work time space here. So working, not working, what you're going to do at home, etc. All right, and if that's what the weekly spread is going to look like for each week. So let me see what else I want to show you here. There's some other, for each month, there's going to be a coloring sheet with a Bible verse, which I think that's a really cool addition. But yeah, everything, it's pretty much going to look the same. I mean, obviously, like the prayer prompt is going to be different each week, and the Bible verse is going to be different that's in here. But I just love that, like, I was so excited when I saw this. I just love that it incorporates our faith into our daily lives and into our teaching. And, you know, we being in a public school, I don't teach, you know, about cr my Christian faith while I'm there, but I pray for my students. You know, I, I read my Bible on my lunch break. I like to have little things like this, like my planner being a Christian planner. You know, there's way, there's definitely ways because my faith and my, you know, my Christianity, it's who I am and it's incorporated into my every day. So this is just another great way to do that. And then when we get to the end here, this is the, we got to June, 2025. You're going to have this, you could use as a grade book if you'd like. There's some lined paper back here, student checklist. So whatever you choose to do with that, attendance, whatever. There is a communication log. If you need to keep notes about how often you're communicating with a parent or sending things home with a student, you could put that in here. And then we have some extra lined paper in the back. Some dotted lined paper here. And then we get to the end. So I love this. I was so excited when I sold. I wish I would have seen this sooner. So we could have got this review out a little sooner in the summer for us teachers that are going back to work here soon. But I was really excited when I saw this. It's a really well-made planner. Um, price is pretty similar to what you see from other teacher planners that are out there. But it seems it's a small, you know, a small business. I really love to support that. And like I said, incorporating my faith into my daily life and what I'm teaching is so important to me and such a big part of me that this is really near and dear to my heart. Uh, like I said, they do. this is the mini planner. They do have some other options available. If you're like me, I also like to have uh, places to put my lesson plans in every day. So for me, like for example, like I might have a math group, like fourth grade math, nine to 9.30, and then fifth grade math, 9.30 to 10 o'clock. So I like to just write in, I like to have that space to write in the time and write, I don't put my whole plan in there, but I might say like, place value lesson one for math or, you know, phonics worksheet page 63. And I like write that in there. So I do like to have a space for that. So I'm considering also getting a, the, a different model that has that lesson plan, those lesson plan pages in as well. I think they call it the lesson planner, if I'm not mistaken. But this is great. This is a really nice portable size. So I like that about this one. And you still have a lot of space in here to write out to-do lists and appointments and meetings. You know, IEP meetings, I have a lot of those. So it's always good to have that space for that as well. But I really recommend this. You know, if you're a teacher or you're, you know, you're a homeschool mom and you need a place to keep your appointments and lesson plans and everything like that, this is great. I really love this. I think this would even work. I mean, there's some pages in here that wouldn't apply, but this would work for a student too, like a college student or even a high school student. Obviously, they're not going to like fill in the student checklist pages, but a lot of the rest of it would work really well. So again, this is the Pray and Plan um, 2425. It's by Teach for the Heart. I'll put their website in. Uh, I highly recommend this. Can't say enough about it. Really great planner.